We must do the side quests. I've done them all up until now, so even though it's thrown like ten of them at us, I will do them. Oh yes, I will. Starting with whatever, this is going to upgrade by doing this one. The ones that give you a permanent upgrade are more interesting. Unless it's like, number of potions. But let's see. No, oh, it's a month. Alright, Clive. Blackthorn told me you helped him out again. Tough for that. Oh, I've got miniatures. Oh, it's the guy who keeps on. He secretly I'm loves the blacksmith. Bit, um, I had miniatures in front of my TV. I couldn't read the subtitle. There we are. Afraid so. It's a bit of a funny one, this. Hello, oh, baby. You're painting until you get bored. Have you tried mission, drinking instead? And he gave me this flashy ring to say thank you. So obviously, I show it to Blackthorn, thinking he'll be impressed, only for him to go white as a sheet and quiet as a curl instead. Try as I might, I can't for the life of me work out what could have got him upset like that. And seeing as how Blackthorn opens up when you're around, I thought we're just the, maybe we're the blacksmith's therapist at this point. I'd speak to him again. Well, I suppose there's no point leaving him to stew. There's something weird going on with YouTube comments. I'm, I'm sorry to detract from the dialogue, but this is the third time we've done this version of a quest helping this blacksmith. Come along when you're ready. You left a comment on the video that went live on the Tabletop channel today, right? And on my app, like the backend manager app, it says EVP. But if I went to the video, it didn't say EVP. I've got no idea why. And that, you're not the only one that's done that for us. done it for Grumpy as well. Blacksmith Blues 3. Well, rule of three, I imagine. Oh, there's another upgrade one. That'll be a potion one down there, because that's where the food is. Bloody hell, Clive. Not this again. See, even he's sick of it. Oh, and you've got better things to do with your time. That remains to be seen. August tells me he showed you a ring, and that the sight of it clearly upset you. Do you mind telling us why? Come on, mate. I'll, I'll say again after this cutscene. I ain't gonna help no one. If it weren't the ring, and it was something I said, then I'm sorry. It was the ring, right? It brought back some unhappy memories. That's all. Memories better left forgotten. Memories of what? There are things we'd all rather leave behind, Blackthorn. But sometimes it helps to talk about them, and sometimes it doesn't. Is that so hard to understand? Don't be like that. Fine. If it'll get you off my back. That ring you flashed was the work of Zoltan. We apprenticed together back in the day. You've never mentioned him before. Why would I? I ain't seen him in decades, and the last time I did, we almost came to blows. The ring brought it all back. I could tell it was one of his the moment I saw it. Vast has improved, though. What I thought possible. That thing's a work of art. So it was a nice ring. Worth a few gill, maybe. What's it matter to you? It matters because engraving metal's a nightmare and I've got no bloody idea how he managed it. The fact is, I couldn't make anything even half that detailed. So what? Five swords he's been making have been pretty detailed. Jeweler. I'm the Idaway's master craftsman. I'm not stealing a living at some backwater village forge. My armor keeps you lot safe and my swords keep you dangerous. As far as I'm concerned, every swing of my hammer's another blow struck in the name of our cause. So I put my heart and soul into my work. Because the curse breakers deserve better than second best. And I refuse to be shown up by the likes of Zoltan. Very well. Why don't we go and pay him a visit? Learn his secret? I doubt he'd be too happy to see me. Then just this once, make peace with being second best. Swallow your pride and focus all your energies on the task at hand, keeping the curse breakers armed and armored. Provided you can do that, you'll hear no complaints from me. But if you can't, and it's going to distract you, we need to do something about it. What do you say, Blackthorn? You know he's right. And it's not like you'll be going alone. All right. Magic. So, where do you reckon old what's-his-name is then? 
Zoltan, was it? In Dravozd, my old village. He won't have left. He's the chief. Dravozd, eh? That rings a bell. Uh, not far from Tabor, right? Just north of the fields of Carava. Got that, Clive? Meet us at Dravozd as soon as you can, yeah? And I'll make sure Blackthorn don't get cold feet. Good luck with that. I'll see you there. <laughs> Hello, Jazz. This is not a soap opera. This is a very, very masculine game. EVP, I was saying you left a comment on the Wasteland Warfare video that went live today. Oh, wait. Yeah, down here. Right? And then on my app, in the back end app, it displays your name as Evil Vice President. But when I went to the video itself, it did not. And it's the second time I've had it happen for someone because it's happened for Grumpy Jelly as well. No, I, that was literally the first cutscene. Well, technically the second cutscene, but first quest. The blacksmith is depressed again because someone made a ring better than him. I'm not going to pretend to care about this quest. I just want the upgrade. He is a weak willed man. Uh, speaking of, well, it's not really broken. Well, yeah, the comments are broken in some fashion. But uh, on yesterday, I recorded some Batman. And I went to delete the cruise in the app today that I used for the filming. And during which time, the app crashed. Tried to reload it. Didn't work. So I was like, ah, that's no problem. I'll just delete it and re-download it. It's not currently available on the App Store. So now I don't have the app at all. And I went and looked on the subreddit, one person had mentioned it on there. And there's no word from any models as far as I'm aware of why there's suddenly no app when apparently I mean, you need it to play <laughs> if you're using anything new. So if I'd known that in advance, obviously I wouldn't have deleted the damn thing, but I didn't see an issue with re-downloading the app, because I, I didn't realise it wasn't there. I'm curious if it's still available on Android. It's quite far away. Hello. Come on. Roger. Faster. I believe the app was made for them, so I wonder if they're in dispute with the people that made it for them. Don't get surrounded. Because that would be very interesting and also catastrophic, because it's already hard enough to try and introduce someone to the game that's not familiar with it. Because the app doesn't do everything it needs to for you to play the game just using it, but you still need it. Be safe. Down already. No. This charmer ain't letting No, no one's through. done that yet. Why are the gates closed? Chief's orders. No one's allowed in without his say so. Not that I'd have let you in anyway. You look like trouble. I suggest you go home. That's what I'm trying to do, you little prick. You ain't changed a bit, have you, Snotty? No. It isn't. Black There's the rain that's been threatening all day. I no wonder what the noise was. What the hell are you doing here? Well, it was meant to be a surprise, but since you are so nicely, I'm here to see Zoltan, you fucking numbskull. Now let us through. All right. Just... Don't go starting anything with the Chief. Yeah, I promise I won't throw the first punch. That good enough for you. Go on then. Okay, I will. Much obliged. So this is Dravoshd. I 
Not much going on, is there? It's a smithing town. When I was a lad, you'd have to shout to be heard over the sound of hammer on anvil. It's just me or is it getting much prayer? Clive, you're good with people. You speak to Sultan. Hey, you ain't backing out now, are you? There's a river of bad blood between me and the chief. But if someone can build me a bridge, then I'll cross it. All right. I'll see what I can do. I appreciate it. It'll be near the forge on the hill. It was our master's. He'd have inherited it when I left. The forge on the hill. Uh, good luck. You'll be needing it. A sword we've got now is almost got like an executioner's sword top. No, oh, kind of like a reverse executioner's sword actually. It looks weird. Hotter, hotter, damn it! Those miserable flames wouldn't melt butter, let alone iron. Pardon the intrusion. I'm looking for the chief. That'd be me. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'll bet it is. Keep the gates closed, I tell him. Well done, snotty. You're not welcome here. Get out. Before things turn nasty. Blackthorn's here. What did you say? He's travelled a long way to see you. Yes, has he? He's waiting. Down by the gates. Then I suggest you take him with you when you leave. Didn't you apprentice together? So what if we did? Fuck! We're getting nowhere! These bearers' flames are next to bloody useless! We're never gonna be able to fire up the forges unless we can find some new crystals! I'm a busy man, as you can see, so do me a favor and piss off. Oh, and if you're struggling to find your way out, ask Blackthorn. That prick knows exactly where the exit is. He's not wanted here, and neither are you. All right, I'm going. He's just gonna let those bearers get mistreated? As a personal favor to him, yes. Well, at least he didn't beat about the bush. There'll be no talking him round. Not after what I did. Which is what exactly? If we're to help, we need to know. What turned the village against you? I left. Dravoshd. Zoltan. The burden of leadership our dying master dropped in our laps. <laughs> All of it. There are two kinds of smiths in this world, you see. My kind, who are in it for the love of the craft. Who labor on a single piece from dawn to dusk to get it just right. And the other kind, who are in it for different reasons. People like Zoltan, whose work is quick and cheap. The kind of smiths who shit out a few hundred blades, reap the profit, and divvy out among themselves. I like him already. It wasn't a single day we weren't each other's throats. And bit by bit, people started taking sides. You would have torn Dravos in half had it gone on. So, I left. You didn't have to do that. Zoltan's a better chief than I would have been. His way of doing things kept food on people's tables. Dravos prospered without me and my lofty ideals getting in the road. Until the crystals run out at any rate. Without magic to fire the furnaces. I don't trust those two chickens in the background. Dead. It depends on how you look <coughs> at it though. There's gotta be other ways of making fire. We manage it in the Deadlands. Thanks to Sid's ingenuity, yeah. He saw all of this coming. New crystals were the problem, not the solution. And spent years coming up with ways of doing without. 
You know what I mean, though. Right? Oh no, there's three of them. Where there's a will, there's a way. What I'm trying to say is that it's not your fault. You couldn't have predicted this. It doesn't matter whose fault it is. I don't want to be the Grey Smith alive just because I happen to be the last. Clive. Dravosh won't last long without his furnaces. So, do you think it's time we shared Sid's bellows with the world? The way I see it, it's your decision to make. Hold on, Blackthorn. Sid made those things for us. They give us an edge over the rest. And you'd be throwing it away. All right. Do it. This place was your home. I won't abandon it to its fate. Sid's Puzzle. creations were never meant to be hoarded. It was only ever a matter of time before we shared them. Let this be another step on the road to freeing Valisthea from the prison of the Crystal's blessing. Dravosht will show the world that it's possible. Wouldn't you agree? It wasn't the whole point that he made a really fancy ring way. and he had some method of doing that? Like and it can't be using the magic grave. furnaces because they're not working. Thank you, Clive. Shall I go and fetch the plans then? I know I'm off by heart. I'll be needing some help though. Building a furnace isn't exactly a one-man job. Do us a favor and round up anyone strong enough to lug a brick or two with you, August. Uh, all right then. And I've got a job for you too, Clive. Finding me some salamander skin. I need leather for the bellows and nothing else will withstand the heat. Luckily for us, salamanders feed out in the fields of Carava. Time for a spot of hunting, man. I'll be back. Didn't we have to kill a salamander out here earlier? And by earlier, I mean last session. Total Warhammer has not started. Like well, we did play the second one quite a bit. Three hasn't started, we only bought it on Sunday after the stream. I installed it and tried it on Monday and we're going to start co-op on stream tonight. Yeah, we definitely came over here to fight something. This is the exact same place. Let's make this quick, shall we? Thank you, Salamander. I never liked those hunts in Final Fantasy XII where you had to do specific things to find our battle stuff. Too obtuse. I say that would be enough for a decent set of bellows. Oh, actually, I can just teleport back. Because they had a thingy crystal. No, not that button. This button. Why is there two map buttons? What's this all about then? Don't know. How could you have built this without them stopping him if they have a problem with it? Nothing I couldn't handle. <laughs> there should be plenty. Right then, time to put these louds to work. If everyone pulls their weight, we'll be finished in no time.
be damned. I honestly didn't think it'd work. But it's hot enough, all right. And without a single crystal in sight. You know what this means, don't you? <laughs> I do, yeah. Dravoshd is saved. Sorry about earlier. I, uh, I take back everything I said. That thing you built us is an honest to God's marvel. You saved our village. It's Blackthorn you should be thanking. He oversaw the construction. Give this to him, would you? What is it? Pet called Cinders. After he left, I spent years trying to eke the most out of our forges. That there was my answer. Chuck it in the fire, and your forge will burn hotter for longer, which will do wonders for your steel. Our secret for yours. Only fair. I've always envied Blackthorn. Since the day I became chief, I spent every spare moment trying to match up to the bastard. No amount of sleepless nights at the Anvil will ever bridge that gap, though. He's a genius. Plain and simple. The man Dravosht needed. But he took all his talent and left. Gifted and free. Was it any wonder I hate his guts? The cinders would mean more coming from you. I need to forgive him first. And that's not gonna happen. Well, you know what they say? Oriflam weren't built in a day and all that. I've heard it's numerous people tight. say that, yeah. Especially when they involve two geezers who hold grudges tighter than their hammers. But what matters is, Blackthorn's got that twinkle back in his eye. And I'd call that a job well done. <laughs> so would I. I reckon he's going to be at it a while yet, though, so why don't you head off without us? I'll see that the old git gets home safe and sound. See that you both do. I'll save the cinders till then. All right. It'll be a nice little surprise for him. Pit coal cinder. Okay, so we have to go back to the hideaway to do that. That is fine. I'm curious what the quest at Martha's Rest is, so we might do that one next before doing the other one with a guaranteed upgrade. Didn't we send someone there? Oh yeah, we sent the um, Undying there. Gentlemen, I see you both made it home in one piece. Yeah, well... He can apparently teleport as well. Welcome. The whole village turned out for a go on the bellows after you left. Everyone except Zoltanes. Didn't see I nor air of him. Oh, but that reminds me. I have something for you. Pick old Cinder. How'd you come by this? You don't need to feed the plank, just have him save Zoltan and give it to me for you. And you're sure he wanted me to have it? I'm sure. He didn't say so, but I think he wants to forgive you. He said the opposite. <laughs> he you literally said the opposite. Yeah. Uh, you know I could never leave this place, don't you? Every time you put on mail, you and the curse breakers are trusting me with your lives. There's no greater honour for a smith than that. I'm not about to go crawling back to Zoltan for forgiveness, but I will make good use of his cinder. And if that helps save even a single life, then he'll have my gratitude. What was it you said he called me? Huh? A genius? And he spent sleepless night trying to copy me, did he? Sounds like I better get to work. I've got a reputation to uphold. It's good to see you back on form, Blackthorn. I don't know how you pair put up with me sometimes, but I'm grateful all the same. Now, where was I? Oh yeah, about to put Zoltan back in his place. Ain't got the art to tell him how similar they are. Stubborn bastards. 
A little healthy competition should be good for him. You're not wrong. Still, it's a shame him and Zoltan couldn't let bygones be bygones. No use grumbling about it now, though. Blackthorn's happy. Or as near to happy as he gets. And that's good enough for me. Should have given Blackthorn a Scottish accent. He accurately reflects the average Scottish person. Ooh. Ouroboros. It's a belt that presumably goes on forever. Yeah, if anyone's still spying that Batman fan Discord, see if there's any talk on the from night models in there for the app for me, please. Because it's going to be a pain in the arse to use any newer releases if I don't have the app for quick reference. Not impossible, because I, I do print out the cards. Still a pain in the arse, though. In terms of just very quickly checking something. Hand. Hand? Hand! Oh yeah, um, I didn't see the recipe for Ouroboros there, but I'm almost certain we'll need to do some of the uh, the marks to get it. Martha's Rest, I want to do that one next. See who's there. Oh, Joshua's not with me, it's just Torgal. I kind of thought all these side quests has appeared to let them spend time together. Ah, Clive, just a man I was hoping. But their follower agnostic, I've oh. noticed in the cutscenes. And why is that? You remember how some of Sir Wade's guardians took up residence here after the Akash attacked? Well, now the rest have come to join him. Seems their barracks in the Lazarus have been lost to an ether flood. Now I don't mind having a few more brave boys around to keep them animals at bay. I ain't daft after all. But we ain't got nowhere for him to bed down. Poor buggers are having to make do with haylofts and chocobo pens. I'd build them a new barracks here if I could. But where would I put them? There just ain't enough room up here on the rock. Which leaves us in a bit of a pickle. The people we're counting on to keep us safe are living like beggars. I see. And it ain't just that lot. There's bears to think about too. There's been more and more of them turning up lately, coming from all over looking for safe haven. But there's only so many we can shelter with the room we've got. We can't keep cramming more and more people into less and less space. What we need is a new home for our new arrivals. And that's what I was hoping you might help me with. If it ain't too much of a burden, of course. It's no burden. Are we building a condo? Thank you, Clive. So, where were you thinking of making this new home? Well, I reckon we could do a lot worse than Eastpool. Eastpool. It's been a long time since I thought about that place. It was a tragedy, what happened. And if any of us could have done anything to stop it, we would have. But what's oh, done that was a town full of nice people who then were immediately slaughtered. Wouldn't have wanted the village they loved to be left in ruins. I suppose you're right. The blight might be pressing in, but I reckon it's got a good few years left in it yet. There's just one problem. A band of cutthroats have made it their den, and they don't seem like they'll be moving on in a hurry. Nasty bastards they are too. I've lost some good men to their raids. Would have sent someone to clear them out sooner if my boys didn't already have their hands full fending off the Akashic. But now we've got a few more guardians of the flame to call on. I reckon it's time we made our move. What do you say? Fancy leading a raiding party? Raid the raiders? I got do. it. Eastpool was once home to people I loved. I won't have bandits sully those memories. I'll gladly drive them out of there. And I know the men will gladly follow you. I've already shared a few thoughts with Sir Wade about how we might be able to win the place back. And I dare say he's got some ideas of his own too. Why don't you go and talk to him? Have you tried going in there and killing them all? It's a fairly effective strategy. Alright, Sir Wade. Let's hear your plan.
So, Wade, it's good to see you well. And you, Lord Rossfield. And you. I spoke with Martha. She tells me you have plans to free Eastpool and make it your own. That's right, though it was mostly her idea. I rather fear my men have been treading on her toes somewhat since joining us, not to mention each other's. And then there are the bearers, men and women who found the courage to flee their Yeah, they haven't mentioned the blight receding, here. considering there's only one big crystal left, I think. Them, and I can think of worse places than Eastpool. As can I. Which is Although I don't think Martha... To help you win well, no, she must know the other one's got That's destroyed. Kind of you. I don't know if she knows Clive is doing it. With you beside us, we shall soon send that rabble of rogues running for the hills. So, what can you tell me? That thankfully there aren't too many of them. Fewer than a dozen at our last count. And rather less, thankfully. The road that leads there will more than likely still be crawling with Akashic. A small force would suffice to clear the village. But if the Akashic were to follow them in, that force could end up trapped between a rock and a very hard place indeed. I'll head into Eastpool and deal with the bandits. You and the Guardians can stay outside the village and fend off any Akashic who come too close. Make sure I'm not taken unawares. I can't ask you to bear all that risk yourself, my lord. The Akashic are the bigger risk. I can handle a few bandits. Well, if you're sure, I shall summon my men at once. Shall I wait for you here? No need, my lord. You go on ahead. We'll be with you before long. All right. I'll meet you at Eastpool then. So far the only cause of and may the crystals going come. away is the... Well, no, that might be Alma doing it. Is the ether fields appearing and making peop like, the people go a Kishik? But they started appearing when he turned the sky weird, so it could be him doing that, not the crystals going. It's more like, yeah, it's probably him doing that. Is there a closer crystal? There do be! Considering how many side quests there are, I will be using a lot of fast travel. Oh no, it's a farmer. You're trying to live off the land, get him! Oh, my backswing actually counted as a counter there. Expecting a big guy. The end of that, then. Oh. Well, maybe not. Two scoops. Doing here. Doesn't matter. It goes to. Again, it just didn't work. I, I tried to do the proper counter there instead of just the block. I guess you can't block that for whatever reason. I don't know why it doesn't work on certain enemies.
Ooh, I've got a lot of ability points. When did that happen? Any more surprises? I'll take that as a no. Bravo. A magnificent display, my lord. You were watching. I thought you were keeping an eye out for Akashic. We were. Put down more than a few on the road, then arrived just in time to see you slay that... whatever it was. Let's hope it was the last of its kind. Though I expect you and the Guardians will be up to the challenge should another appear. I would hope so, my lord. Your men will be bringing the bearers who'll be living here, I assume. It might be best to send word for them to come right away. Before any other unsavory characters move in. Of course. I'll send orders for them to depart immediately. Leave it with me, my lord. When we first got here, I thought they'd have some kind of mechanic for, like, spending guild to upgrade the town and build defenses and stuff. In s pardon me, in set locations, but oh. still. <laughs> Without masters? No. We're the masters now. Our lives are our own at last. That's all of them, and not a single Akashic in sight. Now to begin the important work of rebuilding the place. It won't be easy, especially not after five years of beasts and blackguards having their wicked way with the place. The masonry might still be sturdy enough, but half the beams are rotted. Those that weren't lost in the fire or burned by the bandits, that is. It'll take a bit of elbow grease, but we'll see Eastpool rise again. Just you wait. So wait. Lady Hannah is buried here. If you don't mind, I'd like Oscar to join the rebuilding efforts. He should be a part of this. Of course. I couldn't agree more. I'll let Martha know that everyone arrived safely. If you need anything more, you have only to send a Stolas. And we will, my lord. Safe travels. Eastpool is in safe hands. Time to go and tell Martha the good news. Okay, thankfully we can just teleport back to Martha's rest. Oops. Went to the quest marker, not the teleport. I hate when that happens. Pip, pip, pip. you are. All went well then. Sir Wade told me you got rid of the bandits while his lot kept an eye out. Nicely done. And what's all this about some shape-shifting nightmare showing up? On second it was all, just some killer ice cream, me. don't worry about it. It'll only give me nightmares of my own. What matters is, you did it. And now we can build our new village! I suppose it will be. What will you call it? What else? East Pool. Sir Wade said it best. There's plenty bad happened to that place, but that don't undo the good that happened there. No need to throw the baby out with the bathwater. Did Wade say that? Well, something along those lines. Anyway, the poor souls might have made it to East Pool, but their work ain't done yet. So the way I see it, neither is mine. If it's food or lumber or strong backs they need, the rest is ready to provide it. Thank you, Martha. No, thank you. You didn't have to help us. I wanted to. A meteorite. And then about those ability points that I suddenly have a crap ton of. Upgraded. Increases the number of hits of. Fl yeah, yeah, yeah. Better death beam. Gotta go for a better death beam. Maximum damage. Uh, let's see. Will we or where will we go now? Rather. So we're. Oh, I wonder if this is a continuation of that guy mounting his troops against the former commanding officer or former fellow officer. 
I'll be taking you all to a storehouse in the bales. Leave anything you don't need behind. That seems like it could be. Oh, it must be. Yeah, it's from him. You know what you have to do. Clive, I fear that I must bid you farewell. As you know, our time grows short. The Lord Chief Justice's vultures are circling. We must strike now. Before we part, I want you to know that, though I may not always have been your most vocal ally, I trust you. As I trusted your predecessor. Thank you. I appreciate the sentiment. And I understand more than anyone how you feel. But is revenge really the answer? It is the one I found. And it is all that I have lived for since that day. But what of Lostwing? Everything you've built. I built Lostwing to achieve this aim. Once it is done, the village will have served its purpose. My comrades and I are sure of our cause, and we shall fight to the last, come what may. But there are those among us who cannot fight. Children. The elderly. Bearers afflicted by the curse. I would place Lostwing in their hands, if I thought it would do them any good. But a village home only to the frail and the infirm is not likely to stay a safe haven for long. And so, Clive, I find myself turning to you once more. Will you take them to your hideaway? That they might live even should Lostwing die. I will. Thank you. I will not have it said that I did not see to the well-being of those who rallied to my cause. The people I speak of have withdrawn to Goten's Bales, away from danger in case the Black Shields strike. Understood. I'll make sure they get to the hideaway safely. Then the last of my preparations are complete. Fare you well, Clive. And may Grieger guide us. All of us. Still don't really know who Great Grieger is. I had very large number of people mention him, especially in the Go Empire. The bales, then, and quickly, before anyone else finds them. The God Among Gods, perhaps? Something like that? Because he can't be one of the eight elements, because they would have referred to him alongside them. Sounds like something different. Do you mean you don't get an explanation when someone says Jesus in real life? They won't shut up about it. They'll literally come to your door as strangers to talk to you about him. Quinton has asked that you come with me. You can no longer guarantee your protection, but I can. There's a safe place I can take you to. Well, if that's what the Master thinks best. Sid, none of us would be standing here today if it weren't for Master Quinton. We owe him. That's true. Life. Well, we know he has a door to his room. We're about to start telling him what he should do with his. If he's saying we ain't safe in Lost Wing no more, it's because he ain't coming back. If that's what has to happen, then so be it. I only hope he can see this through to the end. That we get to see justice done. I hope so too. Oi! You lot! Where's everyone else? They ain't already left, have they? They've gone with Master Quinton. Fuck! 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 What's wrong? I've just come from the Justice's Manor. We have to get Quinton to call off the attack. It ain't just the Black Shields protecting the place. He's got a guard dog and all. A fucking monster. Behemoth? They don't stand a chance against yeah, If it was a behemoth, he would have said behemoth. If I get the message to them, they're all going to fucking die. No. We can't let this happen. Sid, don't worry about us. You've got to catch up with him. We can't let Quinton die before that bastard does. Alright. 
I'll do what I can. Where is this manor? It's way over to the east, through the woods. Heaven all, he calls it. Promise us, Sid. Promise us you'll do what you can. I don't think it's going to be a Tombury. Oh, that's miles away. So that's an odd looking thing, but no, that's, that's just how corals look in this universe, with their guns on their shoulders. Run like the wind. Wonder if that's a special one. I'll check. Because it'll force me off the coat. Nah. Wait, that has a weird name. Time to fight. Eh, I'm gonna go play with it. It's got a weird name, I don't recognize it. I would have paused. Nice try. Okay, it's hitting a lot more times now. Yeah, <laughs> that upgrade is good. They said guard dog, yeah. It could be an enemy called Cerberus. Oh, there's lightsaber robots over there. And over here for that matter. Where am I going? Hug left. Sort of. Oh, it's the manor I said. I bet we have to come back here at some point. <laughs> Or rather, that something will happen here at some point. Yeah, because I just kind of wandered over here. Damn it. Don't tell me I'm too late. Quinton, are you alright? No. But I am alive. Which is more than I can say for my comrades. They followed me without question all the way here. And they died. For nothing. This must be the guard dog. Quinton. I'll hold it off. You go. But... Your comrades didn't die for nothing. They died for you. Don't let their sacrifice be in vain. I won't. Come on. Then. Yeah, that's a cat. <laughs> You're no guard dog. You're just a rabid beast that needs to be put down. Too slow. 
so much damage we can do. <laughs> that would have been more. He didn't have enough HP left. He didn't even dress for battle. Is it over? It is. He wept and begged for mercy. And I cut him from ear to ear. Just as I dreamed of doing all these years. All my plans. Building a haven in Lostwing. Freeing bearers from their chains and recruiting them to my cause. It was all for this. But what is this? Justice? My faithful comrades. All those lives lost. So that I might take another. Quinton. Master Quinton! Oh, thank Grieger you're safe. You? You're alive. And so are you. I'm so sorry. I... I tried to warn you about that... that... thing. And I hate to say it, but... There's more bad news. It's Lostwing. It's been flooded. What? Do you mean by water or ether? Ah, okay. Aether. Lost Wing. My Lost Wing. And look who's here. They must have stolen in after we left just before the flood struck. What if there are still people in there? Don't be a fool! <laughs> getting himself killed. Damn it. But it's not going to last long in there. Come on, Torval. We need to make this quick.
It's over! Ding, I think. Ding? Yes. I need to get back to Quinton. Quinton. Quinton! Look at me! Thank the founder. He hasn't turned. I'm going to get you out of here. Welcome back to the land of the living. Is Lostwing? The flood has filled the valley. I see. Then all is at an end. A strange way to achieve one's life's ambition. No, Master Quinton. Save your strength. Why? All that I strove for is gone. Only emptiness remains. I... I have nothing left to live for. What the heck are you on about? You've got us, haven't you? Don't try telling me you only freed us so you could get revenge. We're more than that to you, and we all know it. I... I thought you weren't coming back. But... I prayed, and I prayed, and you did. There's got to be a reason for that, right? Can't we just go back to how it was? You know, you looking after us all. Your work ain't over yet, Master Quinton. We believed that you were the right man to lead us, and we still do. Your village may be lost, but it seems your people aren't. So long as you remain to guide them. But why? After what I... Why would anyone follow me? Because we're family, aren't we? Family? Yeah. And all our comrades who went with you, they felt the same. Lost Wing weren't just a village. It was all of us. It was. And as long as we're still here, it is too. We can start again. Build a new Lost Wing, right here in the Bales. A fresh start. One life ends, and another begins. Why just a village? We could build towns. A nation, even. What's to stop us? That's the Master Quinton we know. Please. I am nobody's master. Quinton will suffice. After all, we are family. <laughs> Surprised they didn't say that they had to call him daddy. Permit me to withdraw my request. I will no longer be needing your help in looking after my people. I'll pretend you never asked. But you must be rewarded for your efforts on our behalf. You saved my life twice over. And more besides. A bottle or two of your finest red will suffice. Of course. Nothing but the best. And I have a feeling that this year's vintage will be the finest yet. If you don't mind waiting, that is. I look forward to it. That was a side quest with more like substantial meaning to it, at least although it was part three, uh, part two rather. Hanged man signboard. So we've still got 
at least two there. Bocklid was the checkpoint town, right? Yeah. It's a quest for the siblings. We'll need help. Clive, your timing is impeccable. It just so happens that right at this very moment, we're in need of someone with your talents. And what talents would those be? Why, your fearlessness and your skill with a blade. I'm listening. Well, as I'm sure you're aware, when these dark skies swept over the Republic, so too did a wave of chaos and confusion. Randalar has been particularly badly affected. Many of the capital's bearers have lost their masters, or taken the opportunity to flee them. None remain free for long, of course. Most find themselves under the protection of the Fist before they get far. But the army too is in disarray, and finds itself unable to provide for its new charges. Which means, it has been looking to sell. And you've been looking to buy, to make sure these masterless bearers remain that way. Precisely. It's the perfect opportunity to free dozens more, and for an attractive price, no less. So where does my skill with a blade come in? Though we may have the funds to buy these bearers, we have nowhere to house them. So we've been searching for a place where they can be resettled. Somewhere far from the prying eyes of those who would see them enslaved once more. We're gonna have to kill those we goblins that I spared. We have found one. Cashlock. A small hamlet hidden in a canyon. The place was abandoned a long time ago. But when the men moved out, the beasts moved in. And so we seek the aid of a fearless swordsman to... Encourage them to look elsewhere. You'll help, won't you? How could I refuse? Excellent. Theo, if you wouldn't mind making arrangements for the transportation of our guests, as we discussed. Of course. Leave everything with me. Sounds like you'll have your work cut out for you. I will. We have an entire village to stock and furnish. Residents and all. Even if I begin right now, I'll be working day and night. So I'd better get started. Try to clear the place out before the wagons roll in, won't you? I'll do my best. Or maybe I won't. I haven't decided yet. You will find the village in Chedra's Thread, past Leitney's Cleft. My man there will open the gate for you. Alright. Wish me luck. I'm sure you won't need it. Luck. Hmm, quest called Trading Places. It might be that location I'm thinking of. So to get there... Now she said the gate would be open. I wonder if I can actually get there from here. Uh, we'll try. Mug the muggers. Oh, this town down here. Yeah, this one was empty, I think. Or had miscellaneous enemies walking around. Whoops. This must have been a nice place once. And it will be again. Finished. 
expecting reinforcements of a larger one of some variety. I guess we'll see. Birds helping the dogs. I guess bird is friend to dog. That's all of them. Come on, Toggle. Let's head back to Boklad. It was quite a lot of them. Something the matter, Theodore. Quiet. Those are our terms. I trust that you will give them your full consideration. I shall. Thank you. Him again. Someone you know? Yes. And, uh, no. But enough about him. How did you fare down in Cashlock? It's done. The village is safe now. You made quick work of it, as always. I should go and let Eloise know. Don't let me keep you. Uh, but Clive, don't tell her I was watching her, will you? She'll only get upset. I'll explain everything once you've finished with your report. All right. We'll speak then. When those two talk to each other, it's like level 10 versus level 100. Eloise, I just got back from Cashlock. The village should be safe now. Thank you, Clive. Here. Something for your trouble. Well then, now that you have laid the groundwork for our little project, I suppose we'd better finish the job. The first thing we'll need to do is make sure our offer for the bearers is accepted. You're still in negotiations? We are. A trusted colleague has been dealing with the fist on our behalf, but things have been trickier than we anticipated. I suppose it's to be expected. This is the army we're dealing with fighting's what they do, but we shall emerge victorious in the end. Well, if you need any help, you know where to find me. I'm not sure I do, but thank you all the same. Sounds like there might be more to this. Not sure if it'll be available now though. Ah, Clive. You wanted to talk? The man I was watching earlier, the one speaking to my sister. He represents the Silver Peak Consortium. It's one of the bigger trading houses. I don't think I've heard of them. 
Well, every trader in Darmekia has. They operate across the length and breadth of the Republic. And they're still expanding. They've been trying to get Eloise to join their ranks for some time now. And judging by her reaction earlier, I'd say she had half a mind to accept their latest offer. And you'd rather she didn't? I would rather she did what makes her happy. And I would never deny her such an opportunity. Eloise saved me from slavery. And we have striven to save others like me ever since. But this was not the life my sister wanted, nor the one she deserves. I won't let her give up on her dreams again for my sake. She freed me from my bonds. And she must be freed from hers in turn. You're a good we man, trust this chocobo to listen to us I've always been talk about these things. My sister did for me. And I want to repay the favor by letting her live her own life. But each time an opportunity to do just that arises, she turns it down. For my sake. She loves you. And I love her. Which is why I want this time to be different. To show her that I don't need to be watched over anymore. Though I'm sure I'll still need some help from time to time. I trust that I can count on you. Always. Thank you, Clive. Well then, I had better get back to work. These bearers aren't going to move themselves. That's a job for the Crimson Caravans. All right, no follow-up yet. So it's just the upgrade one in the hideaway plus one more, I think. I mean, it's only showing the plus, so maybe just that. Might actually get to see some of them, more of the main story. Oh wait, no, there is another side quest. I knew there was. Welcome to the Patron's Whisper. Talisman of Priming. Here you are. Wish it would tell me what it did Best when I got out it. There, Sid. No. The medic guy again. Glory to Grigor. There you are. I'm not Who's that Grigor again? What's happened? Tyre's busy working herself into an early grave. Since the arrival of her latest patient, she's refused to stop, even for a moment. I've tried offering to see to him in her stead, but she won't hear of it. Clive, she hasn't left the infirmary in days. She's pushing herself too hard. And if she doesn't rest soon, will you talk to her? Order her to her chambers if that's what it takes. Because if she keeps this up, I fear the hideaway will be without its best physica before too long. I know better than to order Taya to do anything. But I'll speak to her. Oh, thank you. I pray you have better luck than I did. Tears of Mercy. I don't think there's much you can do for someone that far gone, but let's see. Well, Taya, Rodriguez worried about you. And if what he says is true, then so am I. We all admire your dedication, but you do need to rest. I will when it's time. Until then, I'm staying put. We owe him that much. Who is he? Someone from my past. Someone who doesn't deserve to die alone. It won't be much longer. The crystal's curse has almost finished its work. If I had the tears, I could ease his passing. But without them, we've nothing that will touch the agony of those last few hours. How would tears help this man? Not my tears. Tears of mercy. Alicia, it's the only thing strong enough. You wouldn't, Tyre. Surely. There must be something we can do for him. Sometimes an easy death is the greatest kindness we can offer. Death fear getting too high, to rather than Rodriguez. petrifying to death. I... 
I, I will. We have all the ingredients we need for Alicia Balwam. It needs to be fresh, though, so we rarely have much to hand. I can make the draft if you can bring me what we're missing. Just tell me what you need. There is a species of venom-weeping spider that lives in the forests of Norvant, near Lorbert's Pass. Bring me one of their eyes. Preserve it as best you can, but avoid contact with the tears. I'll make sure the other ingredients are ready before you return. Thank you, Clive. Hell yeah, let's go this. euthanize a patient. I had a nickel for every time I've had to say that in my life. I'd have like seven nickels. Those are rookie numbers. Didn't the spirits within the movie have like a blue mist that killed normal people? Wasn't that the threat? Oh yeah, the mist was made of ghosts, yeah. But still, it acted like a mist that killed people. Alien ghosts? Ah yes, my foolish of me not remembering that. Yeah, the vote of this that went live, well, today for us, we were here presently watching, but two days ago for YouTube, and the one that will be after it, like, the thumbnails are boring because I can't really show any stills from any cutscenes now because Joshua's in every single one of <laughs> them. Alicia, but Talia's right. Sometimes it's all we can do. A single dose dulls even the most agonizing pain, and all other sensation with it. It may be a gentle way to die, but it is death nonetheless. I wish there was another way.
How are you feeling? Light, mid here. Drifting on waves. It's off his tits. Good. Just relax. Let the waves carry you to a better place. Thank you, Daya. I'm so proud of you. He's gone. Thank you, Rodrigue. And you, Clive? Oh, see that he's properly laid to rest. The man you helped today was my mentor, back in the Southern Isles, on the front lines of some meaningless war. I was still a child when they shipped me to their triage tents. To treat the wound that reminds me, why am that little girl going around Prince asking everybody if they wanted medicine? I was next to useless. Until he taught me the true physicer's art, that is. An art we would be lost without. Tears of mercy were his gift to the bearers of the world. A respite from the agony of the curse's end. And the kindness Sid would have approved of. You know as well as I what life is like for a bearer soldier. Marched from one battle to the next, never knowing which might be your last. A commander may care nothing for the bearer spent in his service, but my mentor's gift gave the dying one fleeting moment of tranquility before the end. I've no tears left, Clive. I've seen too many of my friends taken. Hello, Kitty. Something needs to change. And we need to be the ones to change it. And we will. I promise. I hope so. Me, you're right. Oh. We do get the magic stash that his body turned into, though. So there is that. Right, should just be that upgrade quest now. I thought it was a dude having a bath down there. If Amber and the Lazarus are gone. Yeah, this is gonna be the upgrade potions. Heard you're in combo. This is looking a bit greener. Nigel! Sid, do you recall the flowers I had you bring back to the yard? Vaguely. Is something wrong? I'm afraid so. I was able to get most of the Morgan beards to take root, but they rarely flower. I fear the soil here does not agree with them. However, I believe I have a solution. I can't wait to hear it. I'm going to marry the Morgan Beards with Morbles. I know, I know, but hear me out. Morbles are possessed of a highly choleric temperament. The fire which drives them appears to be maintained by an abundance of nutrient-rich ether drawn from their environs. I believe that by grafting a Morble vine to a Morgan Beard, the appendage's wealth of vigor-inducing nutrients might well stimulate the flower to bloom. The endeavor, I assure you, is scientifically sound. I simply need a vine to prove the theory. Oh, I'm hunting a marble, am I? And all you need is a single vine from an ordinary marble. That is correct. A single vine. As for the marble, I fear ordinary may not suffice. 
But, as luck would have it, a most extraordinary specimen is rumored to haunt the swamps of Rosaria. Why, a notice concerning this very creature was only oh, no. recently posted on the hunt board. How timely. Well, I shan't keep you any longer. I know you have much to do, as do I. Now, where did I put my watering can? A special marble. Marble, sorry, not marble. That's the news anchor from Futurama. Marble can't read his teleprompter. It looks like a little man with a hat. That's a T. It goes T. Hello, little man. I will destroy you. So I'm just watching an episode of Futurama in my head as I run from one APC to the other. That's the big brain I'm winning again episode. It's a carrot? It's a it's an orange marble? Oh, okay, it is literally called carrot. The whispering waters in Rosaria. The spring wars. Hmm. Whispering. Oh, perfect. I imagine it'll be in there. Carrot was in Final Fantasy Twelve. Is she orange? In Twelve, that is. Run like the wind. It's certainly an arena. <laughs> sort of orange on the ends. Here's a new record. That's more like it.
A lot of sludge. Carrot has been eaten. You have, you've seen poison. The marble in the intro did poison. Ooh, that's probably used for the Robotus belt, Herobotus. That was definitely anything but ordinary. Now, let's get this vine back to the yard. I think poison is the only one that affects me and teammates. Enemies have protect, berserk, slash war cry, whatever. And cure, not sure if, well that's not stats really. But. Notice that your satchel is twitching in a most violent manner. Disgusting. Yeah. It's your problem now. What an amazing specimen. The flesh positively throbs with vitality. If I can successfully graft this to the Morgan Beards. Uh, when? When I successfully graft this to the Morgan Beards. I suspect the results are going to see an Audrey 2 type thing, I bet. I shall begin at once. Mm, or maybe not. It is just as I hoped. Witness. How the Morgan Beards have taken to the blighted soil. How they bloom with heretofore unseen vigor. Why, I dare say such a vine graft would yield similar results when applied to other specimens as well. I'm glad I could be of assistance. You've not only helped us, Sid, you've saved us. Do you recall the extract with which I provided you before? I took a moment to distill some more, but this time with the petals from the invigorated Morgan Beards. And would you believe? Its potency has nearly doubled. You must accept this file as thanks for your assistance. Stronger potions again. I shall Presumably. That butterfly is humping the flower. Please, sir, can I have some marble? Maximized. Hmm. Was there a side quest to do at the letter board? Oh, 
we're gonna find out. Wait. Other way. Actually, let's check what else is needed for that bell. What'd you want? Oh, I don't even have anything it needs. Interesting. Well, the comet feather is going to be from that special Jacobo, obviously. Other two, not 100% sure. In that case, we are going to see a little bit of the main story before we switch over. Wait, you want me to go find the Jacobo instead? It is called Meteor or something. If it's knowledge you seek. How long have we got to swap over? 20 minutes? Yeah, that's we can probably save carrying on with the main story next time. It can be the focus. Fine, I'll go after the Jacobo that will drop a Meteor. Cole said it was an army of a cash. Better work out where it was first. The Sickle, oh I remember, okay. Dread Comet. The Sickle and Dalmichia. That was up in this region somewhere I think, wasn't it? Oh, it's this whole area here. Um, the Cattery, we already fought a thing there. It could just be in this stretch here. Oh, actually, it's it's probably there. What's my quickest way to get there? From here. Assuming that path is open. So we go this way and take a right and hug right. Run like the wind. If I had to guess, it'd probably be a, like, do enough damage to him or he insta-kills you type affair, one of those abilities. but I presume that's just bandits. Yeah, we'll take a left up here. A hard left. Time to fight. No, it isn't. Not quite yet. Oh, is that it right there? Yeah, that'll be it. It looks like a parrot slash quarter pickle. Dropping me ears. Oh, with a huge explosion radius. Nice try. Oh, it doesn't have a stun bar. what it's doing but I think I've stun locked it as you can do with Jacobo Silver but uh, yeah that's why he does that to get away from Go! 
can't see because of the damn smoke. Tank going for to me, boy. Oh, I didn't do the see. That attack went on way too long. Enough, Enough indeed. what we needed. Look, Crispy. Poor beast. There was nothing I could do. What do you mean there was nothing I could do? <laughs> he had to be put down. Now I guess we can go just on one more mark then. Dog, oh, we can try and guess what else drops a piece for that bell, actually. Why not? Why not indeed? It's called A Song of Hope, not Song of Hope. There's more than one. What rating are they? We just did an A, so they're probably hard. I don't even know where they are. They might be in parts we've not been to yet. The Man in Black. See, that's weird. I guess it's just going to be a special black shield, because it says... Sure, let's go to Lost Wing in Sandbrick and try and find this asshole. Sandbrick is here somewhere, right? Yeah. Oh wait, it's just like right here? It's, oh, it's probably in there then. Sure. Oops. Wait, did it say Lost Wing or did I get myself confused? I guess, oh, it's probably an Aetherite monster somewhere. I could still be through the cellar passage. I'm like trying to navigate this place. That's going to take me into. Oh, this is a dead end as well. We could be here. Wait, this isn't a dead end. I know it is. Not here then. So next I need to go up to here. Or down to there, because that's cellar passage. Where the hell is the door? It's too dark. Is it that way? No, it's not that way. Or is it? Yeah, it is underground. I remember the door from when we were here at first, it's just it's hard to see with all the mist. Where 
Where's the bloody house where you go in and then there's the way down to the prison? Is there a door here that I'm just not seeing? It's only up there. I know precisely where I want, but not how to get there. Oh, there, that could be it, there. Better be down here after all this... Oh, it's one of them. That's much more dangerous. A little bit of his bar isn't going. I guess it's because he's mid attack. I was going to dodge the attack and then I looked at how much health he had left and it was like, 
No, you can probably just hit him. Is that one of the items I needed? I don't think it was, was it? Your work here is done. Alright, let's go check if we have enough of Ren Renown to get a reward. And then that'll be where we leave off, but we'll be picking up with the main story for tomorrow's session. For those watching live, that is. Cole said it was an army. Welcome to the Patron's Whisper. Ooh, 50 more. We don't even get to know what it is until it's Come unlocked again. either. I okay. More for ya. Uh, I want to double check what else that belt needs. Because I don't think that was in the list. Stone Tongue and Oricalcum. Okay. Oricalcum might be a special turtle. Stone Tongue, I guess, might be one of the robots. I don't think they're actually meant to be robots, even though that's what I call them. I think they're made of stone. So it could be one of them. It's, uh, well, it doesn't help that some of the marks have no picture, so it's hard to tell what they are. Unless you can read, of course, which I can. If they if they make weapons, they could have a recalcum. That's a dragon, but we don't know where it is. And that's a fallen giant. You think that'd stand out somewhere in Rosarian ruins? Hmm. No, that's a. Those are matters for another day, possibly post-game, I guess we'll see.